Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. General Hospital spoilers for Wednesday, January 10, suggest that several Port Charles residents were seen preparing for Bobby Spencer's burial, so the episode began on a sorrowful tone. When Lucas Jones arrived at Carly Spencer's apartment, he received hugs from Jocelyn Jacks and Michael Corinthos. Carly walked downstairs to Drew Kane before hugging Lucas and wondered how they were going to accomplish this. Lucas wasn't sure, but he told Carly that they'd get through it. When Carly received an unexpected phone call, she met Elizabeth Baldwin, Rebecca Herbst, at Kelly's, where the hand-painted sign had been destroyed and hauled down after the storm. On Wednesday's episode of General Hospital, Liz offered to paint a new one and stated she could handle it for Carly, who was grateful. Maxie Jones informed Felicia Scorpio and Anna Devane at the church that after the heart transplant, she sometimes felt like Tony Jones was listening to her chest. Maxie claimed it was impossible because she wasn't conscious, but Anna and Felicia countered that even comatose patients can be aware in some ways. Over with Willa Corinthos, she apologized for being late and informed Michael Corinthos that she was urging Monica Quartermain to stay at home because she wasn't feeling well. Michael was just thrilled Willow was there now, so Willow told him how much she adored Bobby and knew Michael loved her much more. Dant Falconeri Sal McCall and Sonny Corinthos came to assist Carly and everyone else who was mourning the loss. Trina Robinson arrived with Spencer Cassadine, and they both offered their sympathies to Jocelyn. Laura Collins was also there with Kevin Collins, and she intended to respect Bobby's memory because she was scheduled to deliver the eulogy. Tracy Quartermain approached Lucy Coe after expressing sympathy for Carly and persuaded her to agree to a truce for Bobby today. Alexis Davis lighted a candle and told Christina Corinthos Davis, Kate Muncy, how Bobby had been there for them. Christina was pleased that Bobby stood up for her after what transpired with Kiefer Bauer. Maxie took a seat and asked Anna if she knew the mysterious woman seated across the room. Anna didn't recognize her, but she figured she was a past patient or one of the many individuals Bobby had assisted. After the funeral began, the pallbearers brought Bobby's casket in. Laura delivered a magnificent eulogy, which was followed by Scott Baldwin's Kinstriner, address about Bobby's friendship. Elizabeth also mentioned Bobby as a healer who helped her through some difficult moments. Carly then discussed finding her mother as an adult and how Bobby's acceptance affected her. After expressing her affection for Bobby, Carly emphasized that the world was a different place without her mother. After the service, Maxie approached the mystery woman and discovered she was a reporter called Angela Brighton. Angela mentioned that she was producing a report on Maxie's friend, therefore Maxie was intrigued by this tale on Bobby. As he consoled Lucas, Felix Dubois pondered on Bobby's ability to work as part of a team and smile at certain nurses' ball recollections. Carly gathered at Kelly's with Maxie and Angela the reporter, but she warned the press not to make a farce of Bobby's death. Maxie pressed Carly to hear Angela out, so Angela stated that she had been stationed at the AP in Amsterdam, where Bobby had been volunteering with a charity rescue organization. With the help of a contact, Bobby was quietly assisting young women in escaping human trafficking and obtaining refuge. Bobby was attempting to get one particular woman to the United States sooner, but Angela was unsure if she actually arrived. Carly was overwhelmed and needed to get some fresh air, so she went outside and thought about Bobby doing so much more than just settling Luke Spencer's, Anthony Jerry, affairs. After speaking with Felicia about a potential lead, Carly visited with Tracy and questioned her about her knowledge. Tracy was unaware of Bobby's rescue activities, but she recalls Bobby mentioning Luke's cabin in Ontario. Tracy also mentioned that Bobby frequently wandered off on her own and provided updates on a cafe that she had followed Bobby to. Carly decided to fly to Amsterdam tonight and try to discover Bobby's contact information tomorrow, but she did not want Drew to accompany her. 
Jocelyn was likewise skeptical of Carly's objective, but Carly wanted to help Bobby find peace. Joss and Drew were both proud of Carly, but Drew remarked that no one could be prouder than Bobby. Outside Kelly's, Felicia mentioned that she had kind eyes, and Angela noted that empathy was part of her profession. Felicia wanted to spend some time by herself, so she hugged Maxie and left. Angela noticed Maxie had a strong link with her mother and expressed similar feelings about her own mother. Although Angela was meant to leave for her flight tomorrow night, Maxie hinted about making some plans to meet up again. Maxie promised Angela that she would not be disappointed. Felicia joined Carly as she exited her house with her suitcase, wanting to give Bobby one more gift. Carly agreed to Felicia's assistance in locating Bobby's contact information and stated they should get started. General Hospital spoilers indicate that the program will continue Bobby's homage with an Amsterdam quest, so stay tuned for updates on all the excitement. General Hospital spoilers for Thursday, January 11 state that the second portion of Bobby Spencer's tribute will begin, resulting in some major surprises and poignant scenes. For openers, Robert Scorpio, Tristan Rogers, would approach Anna Devane, Finola Hughes, and offer to make a few calls so he might assist Maxie Jones, Kirsten Storms, in gathering individuals to share memories of Bobby Spencer, Jacqueline Zeman. Many fans have been interested about the actress who plays the reporter covering Bobby's efforts to combat human trafficking. Brighton Hertford played B.J. Jones as a child, Hertford is now an adult and plays Angela Brighton, so it's nice that the show could include her in this tribute to Bobby and Jacqueline Zeman. Maxie will continue to work with Angela on her tale at Kelly's, and she will believe that she is doing something to help. Maxie will assist Angela in conducting interviews with people whose lives Bobby had an impact on as a farewell gift. Elizabeth Baldwin will be one of the interviewees, and she will discuss how Bobby supported her following her assault and never made her feel guilty. Lucy Ko will also give an interview in Cry as she speaks about being a very fortunate woman, so she will share her story as part of this larger one. Felicia Scorpio, Christina Wagner, and Carly Spencer, Laura Wright, will team up in Amsterdam to track down Bobby's secret contact. It's conceivable Robert's phone calls were about assisting with that assignment, but that would be too risky because Carly and Felicia don't want to jeopardize the rescue effort. Regardless, Felicia and Carly's best bet appears to be to do some digging at Bobby's favorite cafe. In Thursday's GH teaser video, Felicia believes they have uncovered Bobby's contact information, so she tells Carly and appears hopeful. Elise Robertson would appear as Thank in these Amsterdam sequences, Therefore, it appears that Funk is the contact Carly and Bobby are looking for. Carly will finally admit that she had no idea there was another side to her mother. Bobby was helping exploited women seek asylum indiscreetly, but one was missing. Carly wants to ensure that this young lady may reach freedom, which is when a woman named Cornelia steps in. According to General Hospital teasers, Carly and Felicia will arrange Cornelia's safe arrival to the United States, so stay tuned for more information on the job they will carry out for Bobby. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.